Special Ducks. I'm curious to know what this path is like because with all the recent wet weather, it's been almost impossible to get through this pathway because of the slopes and the mud. But obviously it's now open again. We haven't had any rain for a few weeks now, unusual. Just that cold wind. Yeah, I don't know if you can get through at the bottom anymore. Because the undergrowth tended to grow over that path that was so muddy for so long that no one walked through it. Let's have a look. You can see the detour that people were born into uh, the surroundings here to bypass the bottom. Lovely viewpoint here for trains when they approach. I think it's still looking muddy there in that uh, lowest point, so I think it's a detour to this new way around. At least it's not slippery now, you can just walk down here. That fear of ending up horizontal. Oh, let's go that way. That's quite steep that way. For the train, so I think I'll head on further down in to watch it. <laughs> Some months ago, an attempt was made to put a wooden fence all around this area. <laughs> Don't know for what reason, but. Uh, Obviously it's not been appreciated by those who prefer to walk through here and that's all that's left of the fence. I wonder what the idea was anyway. Going up to the, probably the best viewpoint of uh, Watchet Harbour. But as I said, the tide is mostly out, so I uh, won't be seeing any ships coming or going. So I'll head on now down past the side of the valley. I had a bit of a compliment the other day in the fact that uh, a couple who watched my videos, when they finally came to watch it, they decided to explore all the paths that I'd shown them in the area. So um, I wouldn't recommend you try and go down over this slope, over this path. That's really steep, only done by young, the younger generation. But there are steps through here, albeit somewhat uneven steps. I don't know how long ago these were made, but uh, must have been a great improvement over what used to be here. Nice clear view there. 
Well, it used to be, used to be a nice clear view before the trees grew in of the railway. Birds are singing nicely in the trees to my left. Interesting that you can see there's a little nature path there going up that bank. Going right through to here, so something must regularly walk through there. Whether it's badgers or foxes, don't know. Let's walk down and have a closer look at the crossing. Then over in the marina there is the old, uh, I was going to say vintage uh, crane, which I believe has got problems I'm trying to get the spare parts for it. I think that temporary five mile an hour speed limit for the trains is a good idea. I think uh, that might well become permanent. You can see that black bag uh, over the original speed limit uh, blowing in the wind. And I feel a few spots of rain too, which is the first for a few weeks. here, Watchit Conservation Society, showing that they're the people who are looking after planting these flower beds. Primroses are looking nice along the banks there, leading up to the station. Thank you. 